Chances are you've seen the Mach 5 in action at least once in your life. Most people have, especially since it's reached widespread fame from the television in 1967 to the silver screen in 2008. Being a cultural icon for 50 years, it's no surprise that it's considered as much of a main character as the series protagonist and namesake Speed Racer. But you gotta ask yourself, what makes this car so special? Why does it stand out against all the other race car cartoons that have come and gone? And most importantly, what kind of numbers is the Mach 5 actually making? In the cartoon, the Mach 5 was designed by Pops Racer, owner of Racer Motors and father of Speed, Spridle, and Rex. Its aerodynamic body makes it stand out from the pack, and its multiple gadgets keep it ahead of it, too. The engine's a very well kept secret, which actually means I couldn't find anything out from the internet. What is known is that it's supercharged and makes. Wait, hang on. Hang on, hang on. I gotta check the wiki. Oh, cheesy Pete's. <laughs> the engine makes... <laughs> the engine makes 5,000 horsepower. Not 500, not 1,500, 5,000. I can't even imagine that kind of power. The only car that's even close is like the Devel 16, which I'm pretty sure is never even gonna come out. There's more horsepower in this car than there are dollars in my bank account. To give you a little comparison, most race cars in NASCAR, Indy, or Drift, or whatever, they usually make between 700 and 1,000 horsepower. The Mach 5 has five times more than that. Sure, top fuel dragsters make about 10,000, but that's in a straight line for about four seconds. The Mach 5 is basically a rally car. In real life, I think it might literally be impossible to race a car like that through a circuit. Now, the sheer amount of horsepower isn't the only thing that makes this vehicle so special. Besides the weird look of the body and the famous white, red, and yellow paint job, the Mach 5 is known to have a ton of different gadgets. If you look at the Mach 5 steering wheel, it has multiple buttons labeled A through G. Compared to F1 steering wheels, it actually seems pretty basic. Each of the letters is symbolic of one of the Mach 5's many, many different abilities. Most of which have saved Speed Racer at one point, and most of them are actually also flat out cheating. The A button has the jacks pop out of the bottom of the car, so the team mechanic Sparky can quote unquote work on it. Speed instead uses this to jump over people and giant bumps on the road, which raises some pretty strange questions. Why did Pops even make these so powerful they could launch a roughly 4,000 pound car 20 feet in the air? How does the car stay together while jumping? I mean, if you're cruising along at 250 miles per hour and you suddenly force four metal sticks into the ground, wouldn't you just tip over to get nosedive right into the pavement? And in a rally sport where you need to drive around everything, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like having the ability to jump over it would be pretty illegal. The B button adds off-road belt treads to the tires. Now, these belts are stored somewhere, but they always get speed to where he needs to go, even if it means driving off course and somehow not getting disqualified. The C button unveils two cutter saws, which come out of the front and can cut through anything, which, by the way, seems also super illegal. The D button puts a bulletproof seal over the cockpit, <laughs> which all in all seems like a huge design flaw. I mean, why wouldn't Pops just have this constantly over the vehicle cockpit? It makes the car way more aerodynamic. All the motors it takes to store it and bring it out must weigh a ton, so why not just make it a part of the car? The E button is the evening eye, which basically just turns on high beams. The F button stands for Frogger Mode, which means the car can drive underwater, which apparently doesn't lock up the engine. Although, why Pops is making a race car that has an underwater mode is beyond me. I don't know why. Eh, sometimes you just gotta do things for the plot. And last but not least is the G button for the remote control homing robot, which is pretty weird by normal car standards, but it's actually pretty tame for the Mach 5. Alright, so we've covered the fact that Mach 5 is a ridiculous amount of horsepower, can breathe underwater, has rotary saws, sends messenger pigeon, and above all else, has some pretty useful high beams. And what does this all mean? It means the Mach 5 shouldn't be legal in any racing league at all. The saws alone should have it kicked out, but everything else on this car just makes it completely unfair to race against. Sure, they tempered this somewhat in the 2008 movie, which got way more hate than it actually deserved, making most of the cars have these gadgets, but if we're going by the kids cartoon, which takes place in our world, uh, it comes to fruition that Speed Racer is a dirty, rotten cheater that has no place in the race world. But you know what? That's okay. The reason why Speed Racer did so well was because of the fact that it was so outlandish, so outrageously impossible to even fathom. The people couldn't help but to remember this plucky 18-year-old with a car that has more horsepower than a... 
Koenigsegg Aguera, the Dodge Demon, the McLaren P1, Corvette ZR1 Coupe, and the Lamborghini Aventador combined. All the gimmicks this car has makes it extremely memorable. In fact, it's actually probably one of my main dream cars right behind the Dior 2 and my 70 Skylark. Now I'm not the only one either. A man named Mark Towell actually makes replicas of it by tearing apart a CFAR Corvette and using the chassis that you can buy for the price of 75 grand, which actually isn't too bad for a high performance car. I'm not gonna lie, I'd probably just drive around town 24 7. The Mach 5 is truly a car that generations of car guys can connect with. My dad was even the one that first showed me the Speed Racer cartoons in the first place, and as a result, I fell in love with this weird looking car. And not much has happened with Speed Racer since the box office bomb that the 2008 movie was. But fans and racers alike can hope for some continuation in the series in some way, shape, or form.